am i the only one that's ready for summer 2018 like this weather is just not for me at all <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my avenue. For those of you who are visiting for the first time, welcome. My name is Medlin. Yes, Jasmine has, you know, taken a little break, but she'll be back very soon, you know. Just give her some time. Uh, yeah, so for those of you who are visiting for the first time, welcome. My name is Medlin. And for those of you who are returning visitors, hi guys, welcome back. Um, and welcome to another episode of Talk Time with M. I don't think I have sat down here like this in a long time so you know uh, I'm really excited about today's topic uh, it's not necessarily a topic Blah. it's not necessarily a topic more so like um, a reflection and the lessons learned I think that's how all my talk times go um, so basically um, I'm just gonna tell you guys like a story time like not necessarily a story time but I'm just gonna try and narrate something to you guys like something that happened I think this was last month and you know the people that I came across who kind of had the same issues with me and the conclusion that we drew from it basically so um you know it was coming to the end of November it was kind of like crunch time for me in school you know finals are coming up so you know just kind of like getting ready for all that stuff and I always put a lot of pressure on myself when it comes to my finals because either I mess up in the midterms or not necessarily not mess up badly but I mess up in the midterms or my midterm was so good that I have to make my finals better basically and um, you know that's just how I'm always feeling you know during all these final periods and everything so um, I started having this kind of like feeling that like you know I was never going to be good enough you know i was just going to fail i was just going to you know let everybody down basically and um i've never ever had that type of feeling before but this this semester was like you know really different from the other ones in terms of that um i couldn't really pinpoint like what like what the exact issue was but i do know that you know i was feeling really bad i would you know i always just wake up i'm like i don't even want to go to school today like i just know i'm going to feel you know different things like that and i did speak to a friend of mine her name is wamaka although her advice didn't help me as much her advice was good you know she told me that you can have bad days like you're supposed to have bad days all your days don't have to be good days you know and you know she told me that and you know i kind of like accepted okay maybe that's like that's what's going on but then you know after a while it dawned on me like that was not what it was like i was still trying to pinpoint exactly where the problem was or you know where i saw myself feeling basically what the issue was and i even spoke to my mom about it like i literally woke up one morning and i cried like that was how bad it was like i cried and i was like you know what's going on like i cried i just i just felt so bad like i thought that you know i was just going to like feel like i was just going to let everyone down like all these dreams and aspirations that i had for myself like i was you know just going to fail in everything basically that's just how i felt at the time and yeah i spoke to my mom about it you know she i kind of like told her that it was about school because that's that's what i thought it was at the point in time you know i told her like you know the school work is just too much we're coming to the end of the term so it's like more work being piled up you know that kind of stuff but like after i spoke to her like the same with my with my friend wamaka i thought like i kind of accepted that that was where the issue was coming from but it really wasn't and you know i was still trying to like figure out where the issue was you know figure it out figure it out so that like maybe i could maybe just fix it and that day after i cried one thing i figured out was that it was me who was feeding myself with all these negative thoughts you know like i didn't really see myself doing bad for me to say okay i'm going to fail like i was just basically feeding myself with all these thoughts and that's kind of like where my conclusion came from it's like if i want things to go better for me or if i want my life to be good the only person that can make that happen is me and you know i started like changing things and my perspective about life just was very very different and so um a friend of mine onome she kind of like had the same issue and um she i think she told me that like she wasn't really 
happy about like life like she was just not she didn't know what the problem was but she just knew that she was not happy basically and you know i kind of like you know kind of gave her like a glimpse of what my own issue was and you know i started mentioning all these things oh is this happening like do you think that you're just going to fail do you feel like that and she was like yes exactly what you said like have you ever cried She's like yes and i was like i'm just going to read out what i told her like, let me tell you one thing that was significant about this period um i was the one who put it in my head i was feeding myself with negative thoughts and i didn't realize it until after i started thinking about how i want my future to look like and ever since that day i've been thinking about how beautiful my future will be what we don't know is that we are the ones who control our own minds and thoughts everything that has to do with you you are the one in control and never forget that um you are destined for greatness and when once the devil sees how beautiful and successful your future will be he will do anything in his power to destroy he can even make you think or believe that you're useless but trust me you're you you know what you want to be and you will get there as long as you have the drive whatever is going on with you now is only temporary the only person that can make this situation permanent is you just see this as a lesson and make sure you never get to this point again this is one of the little things life will throw at you and as you grow things will only get difficult and it's only you that can make it better trust yourself never doubt yourself because the only person that can make things happen for you is you and when i realized all this my, my perspective on life changed for good so basically i'm like i probably was reading too fast but let me just kind of summarize everything that i learned from that period um before then things were really good like i really liked life like i was really ready to you know take on any challenge that came my way but then you know during that period i just fell down like and you know i figured out that when once something good is about to happen to you the devil will always find a way to make sure that that doesn't happen the day i feel like this is what the devil does like whenever he sees someone is about to be great he always finds a way to make them you know not great basically and that's kind of like what i learned through that period and after i left that period things like my perspective on life just changed differently you know the only thing that can make things happen for you is you and you know when once you learn that you're going to start you know making moves for yourself and you know all these different things like if you want to be a doctor you're definitely going to be a doctor because you know that that's what you want to do so basically what i have to say is if there's anyone going through this kind of issue or you know if you just need like a boost or something just know that when once you see yourself in a very difficult situation just know that um things are about to get better and the only way you can get better or the only way you can reach where god wants you to be is if you can fight through this difficult situation or like sometimes even if it's not the devil sometimes god will throw something very difficult at you to see how much you can handle it so that you will know if you're ready for the next step in your life because when people when once people elevate things only get more difficult and the only reason the only way you can elevate is to overcome all those you know difficulties and all those obstacles basically so yeah that's just basically it. there's anything that you're going through you know if you're going through a hard time right now just know that things are only going to get better if you're able to push through this situation or if you're able to push through this difficult circumstance just know that life is going to be really great for you and just have it in the back of your mind that um you know anything it is anything there is that you want to do the only person that can make it happen is you any place that you want to be the only person that can take you there is you okay so yeah that's all i have for today thank you guys so so much for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video please do like share and subscribe bye guys